but as for late night finds Oggy. Now it's Joe Widdison inside the centre circle for the O's. He's got to be careful. He's under pressure. And I don't think he realised just how close the dark one was then. And it's a dark opportunity for West Ham as a result. And it's Deyu with the shot. And late night's problems are their own making. We've played almost five minutes of this one. And West Ham United have the advantage. Up here. Apologies to his teammates. And he just got caught on the ball in a dangerous area. He did. Adelan moving forward down the centre and Joe Widdison catching his man then. Yeah, I, th I think it might have actually been Joe B. Uh, McEnough who, who, who made the uh, the trip. Yeah, he was pretty quiet that afternoon, wasn't he? Um, but uh, down at the Lamex, but he's got an opportunity here. The left foot, he placed the ball immediately, so he's clearly interested in this one. Five in the late Noyant wall, which is about a yard inside the... O's penalty here. It's in this very central position. Dan Kemp steps up, and that's a good goal. That's an excellent strike, Dave. It's a superb free kick, and West Ham United have doubled the advantage with only 11 minutes gone. He's uh, beaten in the tackle on that occasion by Adelian, and that will be a throw to the O's taken by Oggy. Comes out to Papadopoulos. Joe Widdison on the halfway line losing out to the trialists and he gives something for Dan Kemp to chase on the right hand side taking on Joe Widdison Kemp it's on his left foot now it's on his right he's inside the penalty area it's a decent cross and it's an own goal from Sam Ling oh, that's an excellent delivery right across the face of goal Sam Ling with an own goal uh, just totally miscued the attempted clearance with the right to aim for they could even try and uh, catch Trot out. There were options here for James Dayton. The whistle is gone with the left foot. He goes for goal, and it wasn't too far over the bar. Hand side is Ifrani. Back to Brophy. Brophy finds Josh Corson, and Corson gives Sam Sargent a touch, and he'll be happy to have a touch because he hasn't seen it very often in this second half. It's a good clearance from Sam Sargent. Leon Gold got pulled back. One on one with the goalkeeper, and that's the goal for the O's. And it's one they deserved. And uh, Leon Gold, I think, picked up an injury in the process. Uh, maybe, I think, uh, just in the follow through of the challenge. He's in front pitch. of the Tommy Johnson stand, delivers a, a corner to Brophy. He's got space. A little back heel finds Dayton. Dayton looks up, right foot cross, aimed towards Cissé. Cissé finds a goal! Off the bar! That was a good save. I think the keepers took a, made a touch there, hasn't he? Or oh, has he? Uh, I think, well, the, the Orient players certainly feel that the keeper saved it, and it looked that way from here, but he's given a goal kick, which is a, a surprising decision, but again, Orient creating more chances now. That Sergeant time. delivers it towards Leanne Goal, off his chest to... Ifiani got caught from behind, free kick to late Noint, deep inside West Ham United territory. Yeah, making sure it's back the full 10 yards, if anything, it's the 11 yards, I think. It's uh, going to be Dayton with the left foot. It's a decent one! Josh Coulson's header goes over the bar. Yeah, he's got a skip. It's, uh, just played a little bit behind Miles Judd. Judd with a back heel, it's a good one, that finds Connor Wilkinson. Wilkinson turns, Come gets on, past two Miles. West Ham United defenders, gets into the Hammers penalty, goes for goal! and Trot somehow pushes it over the bar. Well.